Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorials with AnubhavTrainings.com. In this session on SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorial, we will talk about how to add reference lines on the charts. Reference lines are very helpful when you are analyzing the data and wanted to set as a threshold on the data set to visualize it more better. For example, in my company, if I want to know which are all the customers who have ex exceeded their unpaid bills since a given period of time, I can always set as a reference line on the time axis. Let's go ahead and see an example in the system for reference line. So what I'll do is I'll switch over to the system. And as we have here the Netflix data of all the movies and TV shows, I will quickly introduce a chart. We will drag and drop this on our right side panel. And it's going to be a vertical chart. And let me add the measure as count and dimension as country. So I want to know what are all the different number of shows which are currently running across different countries and I would also go ahead and filter my result for top four countries so we click here and say please show me only top four countries and once I do that change you will only see now top four countries and number of shows which are running in each country now suppose I wanted to add a reference line with a fixed value which of the country is running more than 500 shows at a given point of time. So we can go ahead and add a reference line. Going to the chart options, add reference line. And now we can enter a fixed value or a dynamic value. First we'll see how to add a fixed value. So let's give a fixed value as 500. And I will say this is my threshold for giving a good business in the country and anything which is above this should be displayed in a green color and anything below this should be displayed in the red color and now you can see you've got a better visualization of data when it comes to adding a reference line this is a fixed reference line which means if I change my chart adding more values for example 6 press enter the reference line value does not change. It remains at a fixed value. Now, if I want to make a dynamic reference line, let's switch it back to the value 4. And I will show you adding a dynamic reference line. So what I want to do is I wanted to add a reference line at a weighted average of all these values which are displayed on my chart. So let's calculate the weighted average value for these four elements. It's 2032 plus 777, 348, and 176. The average for this all will be 833.25. So I want always, depending on the change on data, my reference line to also change automatically. Suppose you can take an example where I wanted to set a reference line for the customers who have been given 10% discount on their total order value. Now, as you know, order value is a transaction data and it keeps changing in the system. So I cannot refer a static reference line. Rather, we want to add a dynamic reference line for such use cases. In this case, the number of movies and shows which are published across multiple countries also keeps changing. So we don't want it to have a fixed reference line. Rather, having a dynamic reference line makes sense. So let's go ahead and add a dynamic reference line. We can go back, select the chart, come down. You can see we already have our reference line. We can modify and switch over to the dynamic reference line. And now we'll switch over to a measure, which is in this case the count itself. And the default aggregation level is average. So anything above average, show me in the green color. Below, as usual, show me in the orange or red. And I can also change here the line color, for example, to blue. 
So all these features are possible when it comes to reference line. You can see I've added the blue color. We can also change the label color, maybe just switch it over to the red. Now I can click on OK. And you can also see already when I just hover on reference line, the value of dynamic reference line, which is displayed on the screen is 833.25, which is an exact match of the average which we calculated. Now the magic happens when you change your chart. Suppose you add more data to the chart. This dynamic reference line will automatically change at runtime depending on the average. So I'll go back and switch over to five of them. And you can see now we have got five items. And if I just hover on my line, you can see my dynamic reference value according to the fifth item has been automatically modified to calculate a weighted average of these five items now. That's the concept of reference line. So I hope you like this demo session on reference line concept. For more interesting concepts on SAP Analytics Cloud, feel free to subscribe our course on unabouttrainings.com and I'll see you in the next video.